Listen, I like to have our next guest on for a couple of reasons. One, of course, is because she's really an authority on something that you and I think we know, uh, you know, but we just draw huge drawn out conclusions based on what we think somebody really means by the way they look and furrow their brow and the way they squint their eyes. She knows. The other reason is I love pronouncing your name. Renate Monsieur. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and you have to always follow the name with oh, oh, oh. Renate, listen, it's terrific to have you with us. What did you see? What did you see in watching the trial over any period of time while it was going on, you were watching the same mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. that we were, but you saw them differently. Yeah. I really saw a lot of negativity in the expression of the parents of Casey. Uh, the one lawyer uh, was very snug in his expressions, in laughing. Well, which one? The prosecutor, uh, the gray hair, or the gray Jose, hair. the defense? No, not Jose. The gray haired mm -hmm. gentleman, yes. He was very superior acting and kind of looking down on the other people. Very smug, I think. So if you were on the jury, mm -hmm. would that, even if you didn't know professionally mm -hmm. how to translate mm -hmm. that, would your impression be that he thought he had it made? Yes, definitely. Definitely, that was his body language. He felt very superior. Um, like I say, his his facial expression mm -hmm. was really looking down on the rest of the people. And what about the defense, Jose? Jose, I thought, had a straight face at all times. He had very good hand gestures. And as a lawyer, I think that came across very well. He had open hands. That usually means you're open with what you have to say. And he made wide gestures in explaining things. So I think he was pretty good. Could you tell from watching the two prime mm -hmm. movers uh, on the legal teams, mm -hmm. that one was really quite inexperienced mm -hmm. and young and that the other one had vast experience? Yes, the gentleman with the gray hair, I don't know his name, um, he definitely had a lot of experience. I felt not only that, but he felt very self-assured. Mm -hmm. And he was convinced, I'm sure, to win the case. When you're on the jury and you don't see the close-ups mm -hmm. that we saw watching mm -hmm. on television, but when you look over at the defendant and you see what appeared to me to be, and apparently to the viewing public mm -hmm. in general, as our attorney, Monica, just mm -hmm. said, a stoic person whose only emotion that people saw generally was anger. Mm -hmm. Is that what you saw? Absolutely, not only that, but her eyes looked always straight ahead, never facing anybody, never looking at anybody. She either looked straight ahead or down. And her mouth was very pouty, like she is upset about what's going on around her. Also, her crying, I did not really see any tears. I think it was wonderful acting, including her father. There really? Was, the father oh yeah. on the stand? Oh, yeah, yeah. There were no tears. Mm -hmm. I think they really practiced like any of us could do. If we want to come across emotionally, we can fake crying any time. You wipe your ears, you do this to your nose, and you look like you're really crying. You move your shoulders a little, so you're really emotionally taken. But if you really look at the whole thing, which I always say, look at the whole person, not just at one thing, her behavior was dishonest. Prior to your visit, I looked up some other views of other people who are mm -hmm. authorities in body language mm -hmm. about what they saw. Mm -hmm. And one of the ongoing descriptions of Casey mm -hmm. was that she appeared to respond emotionally only when it was about her. Right. And when her baby was mentioned, that most of us would respond to right. dramatically. Right. Uh, that, that's when people were searching for some kind of response and not finding it. Exactly, she was very cold, very composed. And I'm sure all mothers in the States, when you lose a baby, and I say lose, when you lose a baby, 
you are so emotional. You cannot hardly talk. I mean, you're breaking up, really crying. You, your head is down. You're just devastated, and I didn't see any of it. But the jury can't base a verdict right. on their interpretation right. Right. of what was going on in Casey exactly. Anthony's mind. Exactly, yes. The only time Casey was really emotionally okay was when she heard that she was not guilty. Mm -hmm. There, her, her emotions were real. That's the only time. Had she taken the stand, mm -hmm. would that have been a huge mistake? or would it have been beneficial to her case? I'm not really so sure. She would have had to change really her posture, her looking at people, her really giving an honest expression about herself, which I haven't seen throughout. And then you wonder how many people would believe anything she said after she'd been caught right. in so many lies right. prior to right. this. Uh, the, uh, the fact, though, that you have uh, watched this as a, a, a real expert in the field of what people are communicating uh, with their expressions, uh, did you see anything from the judge that caused you to draw any conclusions about him? Um, not really. He had a pretty stern face. You could Was not... he in charge as far as you were concerned? I think so. I think so, because he reprimanded it to uh, lawyers twice uh, to come to the stand when uh, Baez told the judge that he will not go any further with the other uh, lawyer having this grin on his face and just not acting professionally. And he was pretty stern in what he said, how the behavior should go on. Casey's mom may still be in trouble because it's clear that she wasn't telling the truth with some of her testimony. Yes. Tell me what you saw. Well, in both parents, the mother also, for some reason, did not look very emotionally involved. She was more interested in what she had to say, how she came across. Uh, the father breaking down and crying that, again, I didn't see any tears none whatsoever and that is just not an honest expression you sounds have. like you didn't believe anybody no i didn't <laughs> not only that let me add one thing on casey's um yes her if, expressions he, he, kind of yeah it's it's something with a face if your nose or if if your upper lip and your nose are very tight together that means that you really take criticism very personally and her nose and her upper lip are very close together. Would you believe me when I tell you you're welcome to come back anytime? <laughs> yes. Look at this. Thank you. My eye contact. <laughs> Wonderful. <Renata> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Our, our special <laughs> guest, anytime that we need to find out what it is that's going on with people when they go, or, <laughs> yeah. Here, what am I saying? You know what? There's an exercise segment coming up, and I'm glad I'm not in it. <laughs> the McMahon Group. <laughs>